had to restart because of stupid storage. Go, kitten. Okay. What a nostalgic dream. That happened to me back when I was 10 years old. It was so long ago that I can't remember his face. I wonder why that memory would suddenly come to me in a dream now. Not that I have the time to be lying here thinking about that. I force my still weary body upright and look around the room. I soon spot a small clock. There's still a little time before sunset. I know Bradley said this castle was full of demons, but they might be sleeping while it's light out. I quietly approach the door and listen out into the hall. I don't hear a single sound. Even Bradley can't move about while the sun is up. I realize it's dangerous, but this might be my best chance to escape. The only problem is about the key to this door. Just then, the sweet scent of roses tickles my nose. Do you want to go outside? Who was that? And when I turn around, there's a man wearing a peculiar clothing like that of a wizard, staring right at me. I want to go out too. Huh? I can, I can help you if you want to go out. The man waves his index finger up and down. I then hear the sound of the lock being opened. I hesitantly touch the door and gently push on it. When I do, it opens easily. Wow, you must be a wizard. Huh? Where'd he go? A split second, my attention is on the door. A mysterious man with Senna froze disappears from sight. <gasps> the I think that's Rosario. Rosario? Mm-hmm. I think that's his name, but... Uh, he's not picked for the story, so we don't know about him. True. He helped me, right? Oh, who cares about that man? I have to get out of here first. Careful not to make any sound, I, cr I creep quietly from the room. Jeez, this is gonna be a challenge. Mm, well, if she's fast, we'll see. After leaving the room, I proceed cautiously down the hall. Because I was brought to the castle half unconscious and unwilling, I don't remember where the exit is. If only I had a map. I walk more quiet more quickly, then open the door at the end of the hallway. What is this place? There are rooms walled with cold iron bars and within them. Dragons restrained by chains. Are these dragons being held captive too? Roar! Recognizing me as an enemy, one of the dragons start to thrash about. Someone must have heard the dragons roar because I detect footsteps heading my way. This is bad. I have to hide somewhere. I immediately throw open a weathered door and jump inside. Something touches the barrier surrounding the entrance to the castle. I can tell is the presence of my right hand man. I quickly dissolve the barrier. Within a few minutes, Sephir comes to see me. Oh shoot. It's Bradley. Well, I read it wrong. Zephyr, you're awfully late this time. I ran into someone of the Libra Sincera. Guys on my way turn into a short battle. Since 
I was on a different mission. I gave you a slip at some point. But they're getting stronger. I don't think we can afford to waste any time. And that's the rest of the story tickets. So, Blood of Roses is done for today. Next week, I'll continue his story. And now, let's... Ah! No! Let's quickly get on to Wizard of Heart. Where is it? There it is. Come on. If you're gonna take time to load, I swear. Ah, there it goes. Get back here. There we go. Come on. Don't make this video any longer than I want it to be. Because <sighs> although this is kind of continuing on from Blood and Roses, I just want to point out <laughs> I'm stuck with this guy. Oh, hold on. Out. Is that? No! <laughs> I'm stuck with this asshole. I don't like Vincent, Vincent one bit. But his story's kind of heartbreaking though. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. Okay, so. Next video. Vincent Knight Part 1. Bye, Shogunate fans. Bye.